you very much, Jean Paul. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. In this section, I would like to introduce uh, you our European coverage and the tool that helps us uh, to be a really pan European organization. You may know that in North and Western Europe, uh, European countries, we have many partners. All in all, we have a uh, already uh, 132 partners uh, from uh, 20 countries connected uh, to our five innovation hubs. But we have seen uh, by the example of the other kicks, some countries are more difficult to reach and uh, get involved. For that activity, EIT kicks have a special tool. It's called EIT Regional, Regional Innovation Scheme. Based on the European Innovation Scoreboard, Europe's countries are classified as innovation leader, strong, modest, and moderate innovators. Modest and moderate innovators are the countries with the innovation performance below the EU average. It means risk covers South and Eastern Europe, uh, European countries, uh, and the age 2020 associated non-EU member countries. Uh, 28 countries are included. All kicks have to define the risk focus area. In case of EIT urban mobility, the risk focus area means 26 countries. We don't focus on Spain and on, Czech, uh, on the Czech Republic because they are well connected, having innovation hubs in the country. EIT urban mobility has a plan how to connect risk countries and it's described in our risk strategy. What is the mission of risk? The innovation leaders and strong innovators know each other well and are used to work together. They have a good track record and can win easily uh, the excellence-based innovation course. As a result, already uh, the already existing gap uh, continues to widen. If we want to close this gap, we must call for new talents, should have them to be part of the innovation community. The Regional Innovation Scheme is a tool for that. The RIS has a dedicated budget to ensure that all new European innovation champions have a chance to find a way to the European market. We are scouting for talents, for capable, active stakeholders. Let this be students, professionals, research institutions, universities, startups, SMEs, or cities. Our mission is to connect the talents to our community, to build local communities supporting each other, to analyze and boost the local innovation ecosystem, to support the best innovations from the risk countries, and to export innovative solutions to the risk and adopt them locally with our local partners. The most important partners in the risk are of course our local risk hubs, which are the core of the crystallization of our local community and which are connecting all important local stakeholders. Further important stakeholders are our project partners, prize winners, project leads, who are the best ambassadors and who are the motivation to be connected to our community. We are also working with local governments, EIT signing MOUs, with the governments to start joint activities, professional networks, accelerators, other key players of the local innovation ecosystem, and with the local partners, uh, local companies of our core members. You will see these hubs can be very different regarding consortium, ownership, background, and competence. But there are some common features like competence in management innovation, competence in urban mobility. And they have all a uh, well-established network connect, uh, connecting to cities, universities, accelerators, and to the industry. Our results achieved in 2020 are, we have seven risk hubs and nine risk innovation projects are running. In 10 countries, 39 sub grantees are contributing. In the Jumpstarter program, 18 selected risk, uh, risk startups were supported. 25 out of 70 supported startups and uh, scale ups in the business creation program are coming from the risk countries. We set up our internal team uh, for the support of the risk program. And 
we are present with hubs in seven countries, but shortly we will increase it to 12 with Turkey, Slovakia, Romania, Croatia, and Latvia. If you have interest to cooperate with us in these countries, please send a message to me to discuss it. Don't forget, after the presentations, we have a short Q&A. Your questions are welcome. Short, snappy questions are, have a better chance to take them. And if you can, please address your questions. And now, please allow me uh, to introduce our partners, our risk hubs in the first seven risk countries where we are present already. We can start our journey across Europe. Let's start uh, with Nikos from the sunny Greece. Thank you. Okay, so greetings to everyone. My name is uh, Nikos Yanulidis. I represent Euro Consultants, and I'm here to present your activities in uh, EIT Urban Mobility Risk Hub Greece. Um, uh, first of all, the scope of uh, our hub in uh, Greece is to act as a, an interaction point between EIT Urban Mobility and the local ecosystem and indeed to, to support uh, various activities taking place uh, at the same time in our uh, region, in our country, namely uh, the development of a cluster for mobility um, ecosystem, uh, as well as the development of a fourth generation science and technology park named um, Thessintec, which I'll be presenting later. So the role of uh, Risk Hub is to uh, act as this link between our uh, innovation ecosystem activities and EIT urban mobility, focusing of course on urban mobility solutions and to support the development of a mechanism um, uh, for the further uptake of such technologies. Uh, Risk Hub will uh, um, uh, provide guidance for uh, funding available at the uh, European and national level and uh, act as a facilitator for new synergies and the promotion of uh, various funding opportunities for startups, SMEs and larger companies. Just to give you an update uh, about the uh, local ecosystem, Greece and especially the region is uh, home to various uh, activities uh, in uh, urban mobility. So our goal is to, to support those uh, stakeholders of the Knowledge Triangle uh, Innovation Multipliers and um, render them uh, suitable for uh, future mobility activities. We also have, uh, have the uh, support from the regional authority, so we consider this quite important uh, there are various initiatives by the Ministry of uh, Infrastructure and Transport in Greece to develop sustainable urban mobility plans and indeed Thessaloniki and the region of Central Macedonia have developed such plans. So it is important that we have a, a basis for, for that, that activities as well as potential funding. Uh, the partnership, uh, quite importantly, uh, uh, we have uh, important uh, stakeholders from the local ecosystem. Uh, I represent Euro Consultants, which is a consulting firm supporting technology uh, and innovation uptake. We have Aristotle University, which is the, um, the uh, biggest university of Southeast uh, Europe. Um, Venture Stories Partners, a, a fund which is supporting startup uh, development. The Alexander Innovation Zone, which is uh, uh, in an in initiative to, to gather all innovation support activities in the region and uh, of course the Hellenic Institute of Transport acting as a technical advisor. Uh, the objectives are to, to strengthen the, uh, the ecosystem and to bring together startups, scale-ups, SMEs and uh, large companies with the activities of VIT UM to further the cooperation network and familiarize the local uh, stakeholders with the activities of EIT UN, identify topics of interest and promote them through EIT steering committee and connect with local initiatives such as the cluster on smart mobility and logistics. Uh, as already advised, some of those activities are quite important. Uh, 
Helsintec is uh, a flagship uh, project for uh, uh, the region uh, and indeed one of uh, the activities that will be supported under this uh, fourth generation STP that will be developed in Thessaloniki in the uh, future are the mobility applications. Uh, so far we have implemented uh, a series of important activities. Uh, we have supported uh, actually three uh, SMEs uh, in the IIT job study local joint trainings and three of those are actually competing next week at EIT job study grand final. Uh, we had our uh, inauguration event with the participation of uh, EIT urban mobility uh, officials uh, on the 3rd of uh, November uh, next month and uh, this month actually we're having a bootcamp for new business ideas and hackathons and in general the, the plan is to um, uh, support the local ecosystem through such various activities. So thank you very much for your time and uh, we'll be happy to, to, to participate in uh, your event and uh, learn from it. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Akos Dervalic, uh, representing SC Energy, uh, for providing the risk hub services in Hungary. So SC Energy uh, company is the member of the Startup Campus Group, uh, which is an incubator and early stage investor in Hungary, also a member of the Hungarian uh, Venture Capital Association. We provide uh, entrepreneurship, education, incubation services uh, with our offices uh, headquartered in uh, Budapest, uh, some regional offices in the country in Dürer and Debrecen, and uh, we have some international offices uh, representing a uh, startup campus in Berlin and London. So our team is organized along uh, the value chain that we cover. Uh, we start from strong education and communication in order to uh, prepare all the startups and all the innovators for international market entry. Uh, later on, we provide incubation services and try to link them to strategic partners and additional investors in order to secure their development and, and growth. And uh, finally, the business development uh, represents a strong approach in uh, sales and uh, try to help uh, startups and innovators to get the first customer or to get a growth stage uh, on the market. So Veronica, our colleague, represents uh, the education staff. Uh, Andres Lurins represents uh, the startup development and, and growth development. And the business development is uh, represented by Adrian uh, Karakas uh, with the junior business development manager and me, the CEO of the company. Our plans for next year uh, starts right in January uh, with the application period for our next acceleration round, uh, which will be followed by a bootcamp and uh, we will select the best applicants for our application program during the bootcamp. Uh, the acceleration program uh, will be launched in April, it will last until June, and we would like to finish it uh, with the demo day and uh, innovation competition. Our focus area will be for the sustainable urban mobility, smart cities, energy, and raw materials. Uh, what we provide along the acceleration is a whole innovation environment. Uh, we start with online business support training. In these days, this is a must, I guess, uh, which will focus on five key areas, the organization, the business development and market, uh, legal and intellectual property, finance, investment and presentation issues. Uh, the innovators will have uh, to get uh, consulting hours for, uh, with the trainers, and also mentoring with industry experts to grow their, uh, their readiness. Uh, also, we provide a strategic partnership to key cities and large corporates in, in our business network. 
our focus cities in Hungary, definitely uh, those ones who are uh, over 100,000 inhabitants uh, with the head of uh, the capital uh, Budapest. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for your attention. Hi everyone, my name is Camille and I'm the lead project manager of Project Eagle Foundation and the manager of the Malta EIT Urban Mobility Hub. Malta is a beautiful sunny island and when it comes to mobility, Malta faces numerous challenges due to the limited space available for, the new, for new infrastructure. Therefore, we are very happy to belong to this innovative and knowledge community. The Malta EIT Urban Mobility Hub is managed by three partners. Project Eagle Foundation is the lead partner. It's a non-profit organization in the mobility sector that aims to promote sustainable and multimodal mobility. Project Eagle Foundation works closely with the industry, the local authorities, academia, to conduct research and pilot projects in Malta. MCAST, stands for Malta College of Art, Science and Technology, and it's our academic partner. It's a, vocational it's a vocational education and training institution. It focused on applied research, and it's also the, mobile, it's also the partner for Climate Kick in Malta. The Valletta Design Cluster is an urban living lab in Valletta. It will guide the open innovation activities through an holistic, user-centric and participatory approach of our innovation activities. The Valletta Design Cluster we also serve at the physical location of the hub. The hub in Malta started in July 2020, and our main activity will focus on building a strong local community of stakeholders. To do so, we have conducted a series of stakeholder consultations with public entities, private, private sector, academia, and public and the civil organization groups to understand the needs and areas of areas of interest of stakeholders. The purpose is to define the joint, the joint vision for the hub and what we would like to achieve in 2021 for Malta. We will also support local innovation activities. So we have mapped the innovation, like the innovation ecosystem to identify gaps and opportunities that could be addressed through EIT urban mobility activities. We, we have also conducted an ideation event to find interventions to improve the experience of mobility in Malta. When it comes to education, we also conduct a skill gap analysis to understand the, the existing edu educational opportunities relevant to urban mobility and what competence the industry needs to prepare the labor force. In 2021, we would like to focus on, 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 on supporting more the startup ecosystem. We want to bring more support to entrepreneurs and business creation, and we will look closely into implementing an incubation and accelerator program. So thank you very much. And if you are interested to, to, for more activity to, to join the activities in Malta, please do, do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Przemysław Zawodny. I come from Institute of Logistics and Warehousing in Poznań. And then I want to uh, tell about our experience and activities within the urban mobility. First, I will to tell about our institute. Uh, we are located in Poznań. You can see our mission, vision, and target. We are focusing about the solution in logistic and digital economy. We want to be the leading have the leading position in Poland, and also one of the best institutes in the Euro Europe. Shortly about our history, we are quite old. We are the research institute. We are the member of GS1 organization. This organization focusing on barcodes and standardizations. We are the founder of the GS1 in Poland. At present, we have 187 employees. We are, have uh, five R&D centers, logistic expertise department, process excellence center, electronic economy center, 
Identification Technology Center and also the Center of Radio Technology and Electromagnetic Compatibility. So our experience in city logistics was building during years. This is uh, some projects we have run in the historically. And during this year, we're building our knowledge. We start from the uh, cargo logistics in the cities, and mostly we have knowledge in this part. Uh, the people logistics, we are still, still learning, as I can see. Next uh, projects, we are trying to build our knowledge uh, till now. Uh, but mostly I want to talk about uh, present projects within the urban mobility. And we have two of them. One is at this RIS hub, Poland. And second is this IoT enabled urban logistics smart reloading base. First, uh, it urban mobility risk hubs in Poland. We are mostly raising awareness among the business, academic, and uh, startups in Polish cities. We are trying to share knowledge and also uh, trying to uh, tell that urban mobility is very important in the cities area and also in how whole country. And uh, second project comes from our observation. This is a solution of uh, intelligent cargo places in the cities connected with the application of the smartphone. Already we are implemented this solution in the city of Poznan. You can, uh, I'll tell more in next slides. So the eight urban mobility risk hubs in Poland, so we started this year. And you can see the work packages we 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 built this uh, in this area, and uh, we have uh, uh, planned uh, some meetings, webinars, and also design thinking workshops. Most of them are already done. Next slide. You can see the second project. You see uh, the uh, why we. Focusing on that, you see the sensor, for example. So the lorries uh, uh, in the cities cause problems, troubles, uh, cause hazards because of uh, loading and unloading uh, reduce road capacities. They all generate additional traffic jams. So we built the solution. You see the sensor on the uh, place. And also you can see the screen of smartphone from our application. And also you can see the marks on the place in the city with QR code and these applications are already running. Uh, next, uh, the areas we uh, I'll try to develop in the future, the urban consolidation centers, sensor networks, optimization of IT systems in cities, cargo bikes, the advanced city data analysis. And uh, in our present, uh, we are doing these design workshops and we try to develop the idea of urban consolidation hubs. You can see some words about that. In the few words, you can see that this is the places when we call, uh, group uh, shipments and then these shipments via green uh, vehicles are going to the city centers. We are minimalization of traffic of vans and trucks and maximalization low carbon vehicles in the traffic city centers. This is shortly presentation of our activities and I thank you for your attention. All right, so good morning everyone. I'm Sofia Fernandes, uh, Head of Business Development at BGI. And I'm going to be here uh, today to talk to you a little bit about what the IT Urban Mobility is doing in Portugal. So uh, let's start first, who, who actually are the partners? So BGI is the business creation partner and also is assuring the communication. We also have YASA, uh, the Institute for Advanced Studies and Awareness uh, that uh, brings more the, the closeness with the citizens and also with academia. And last but not least, we have Tausch, uh, uh, the, the big French company, in this case, just the, the Portuguese um, subsidiary uh, that is doing uh, the access with local community building. So what are we doing? What are the activities that we have been developing this year? We start with the business creation activities. This year, we are doing an open innovation where uh, municipalities can identify the main urban mobility challenges. And then we are going to support each one of these challenges 
uh, with selected startups, namely five startups per uh, location. And so in total, we will have five cities involved, as you can see, Covilhã, Fundão, Angra do Heroísmo, Palmela, and the metropolitan area of Lisbon, which is pretty nice because we are not only having the big centers, we are also having the islands in Portugal, and we are also having the countryside. Uh, we have done uh, two uh, information webinars with two of our main partners as well, dissemination partners, IAP and IEP in Portugal, and together to further develop the pilots with the municipalities, we are going to have the support of Vodafone Power Labs. So far we have five media dimensions and we are going to award uh, uh, each uh, winner from each one of the cities with 1.8k uh, for these winning startups. And so this is our kickoff for the business creation. When looking at the academia activities, we are working uh, with an entrepreneurship course for students and uh, also we are disseminating education activities for the network, so everything that EIT Urban Mobility is doing. And we are also organizing two information webinars. At the same size, we are organizing two debates with citizens, one of them in partnership with Fundão and the other with Matosinhos. The focus in both situations will be light mobility and we target 60 participants here, uh, 60 people from the community, because we believe that we not only should go for the corporations, municipalities and startups, but also involve the, um, the citizens. And uh, we also, we pass to the part of local community building activities. Actually, the startups who, who win uh, the applications and the people that get more involved after our interaction with the community, we are going to support them on EIT Urban Mobility proposals for innovation. Um, of course, we're also looking for partnerships with relevant stakeholders of the ecosystem. Um, we are also conducting a benchmark study uh, with three cities uh, and uh, we are also having different meetings with cities uh, to enter the city club and finally we do have uh, the goal to close two protocols uh, with uh, two different cities in Portugal. Uh, last but not least we look into our communication activities. We have done uh, an awareness day event. Uh, uh, we had 10 uh, speakers, 541 viewers uh, five media mentions and we actually had two uh, press and media also present at the event that all of you can check and we present all of these activities that I'm saying right now in more detail during the, these events. Uh, also, we are doing the dissemination on social networks about all the activities. We are, at, as we speak, creating an urban mobility group on LinkedIn and Facebook in Portugal. Uh, so we can also create more interaction and involve not just, as I said, the companies, but also the citizens. And uh, while doing this, we are creating a relevant database of stakeholders that we aim to involve in uh, further activities this year and next year's. So I hope uh, you have enjoyed the presentation and I would like to thank uh, Urban Mobility for uh, these slots and this presentation. Thank you very much. So gentlemen, today in this talk, I'll give you a short overview about the activity on our National Association for Autonomous Electrical Vehicles. And I'll give you uh, an overview on our main deliverables to the Serbian Movement Mobility Hub grant, uh, which is founded through the EIT RIS 2020. Okay. Uh, the association is found five years ago with a vision to deliver zero emission mobility in Serbian cities and Serbian citizens. So actually that is our main task and we focus on achieving the goals in the direction. The association is found actually uh, and supported through the all GPRs such as academia, industry, and cities. So we, de we do have a sign agreement with all four universities, public university actually in Serbia, that is University of Belgrade, University of Novi Sad, University of Niš, and University of Kragujevac. In addition to that, we do have a cooperation sign agreements with uh, several institutes, 
like uh, Institute for the Electrical Sciences, Nikola Tesla, and the certification labs, uh, Iborsky labs for electromagnetic compatibility. In the industry sectors, we do have about uh, 20 partners, also signed agreed with them, uh, from the mechanical and electroengineering sector. Also, we do have uh, from the IT sector. Just to remind you, in uh, recently, in last year, Serbia IT export was more than a billion euros. Uh, in addition to that, we do have cooperation with the cities. We are growing. I mean, uh, in, in the direction of uh, a city of Chachak already serves as a living lab in tourist projects funded by EAT 2020. We are planning to add to the one or a smaller city also. Uh, our academic partners are the faculties from the universities I mentioned uh, to you for the institute. If you are going to sign agreement with the university, you should also to sign agreement with the faculties because faculties are the independent legal entity. So, which means uh, if somebody wants to plan to do uh, interdisciplinary uh, research or development it uh, you, you you should to incorporate several faculties actually and several legal entities and because of that actually i was also founded and, and in x as a hub practically as a hub for for the other universities uh, in faculties uh, on this slide you can see uh, our members and partners, industrial members and partners, as I mentioned, most of them are coming from the mechanical and uh, electroengineering sector and IT also. Uh, our organizational structure is presented in this uh, slide. So the, the General Assembly is uh, the, the main body. Uh, Executive Director Office is acting for the everyday jobs and also what we do here is expertise that consists of eight different steps. So uh, you can see on this slide actually all those factors and uh, and our activity. So I would like also to emphasize our international networking. Uh, we are very present in the, in the, in the, in the Balkan area, so we have more of understanding of regional collaboration, electric mobility, charging infrastructure development in Southeast Europe. So that agreement is signed by Bulgaria, Romania, Greece, Serbia, and Northern Macedonia. We also do have a memorandum of understanding with the Zalas from Hungary and the Technical University from Budapest. And now I would like to conclude my talk uh, today. So to emphasize our main deliverables through this uh, Serbian Urban Mobility Hub grant is that we deliver a workshop on urban mobility at the School of Electrical Engineering. And also we, we deliver a new course in doctoral and academic studies, studies in the University of Belgrade at School of Electrical Engineering, Electronic System for Urban Mobility. Also, we are finalizing a competition on most promising business idea in, on e-mobility in urban era. And finally, the networking day is scheduled for December 16 at Serbian Chamber of Commerce with more than 60 participants and Serbian urban mobility representatives. And thank you for your attention. Dear participants, dear presenters and organizers, I would like to thank you for this opportunity of presenting AT Urban Mobility Risk Hub Slovenia and our activities. My name is Alinka Malko Pranic. I'm head of the Department of Materials at the Slovenia National Building and Civil Engineering Institute, the SAC, which is a leader of AT Urban Mobility Risk Hub Slovenia.
The Slovenia National Building and Civil Engineering Institute is a public research innovation institute with premises in Ljubljana, Maribor, and Lugates in eastern and western cohesion region of Slovenia. We are about 220 employees, and despite being a public institute, we closely work with the Knowledge Triangle in Slovenia, this is academia, institute, and industry, as well as cities. Our main activities in the field of urban mobility are development of sustainable infrastructure, new sustainable materials, digitalization, including building information modeling solutions, evaluation, evaluation of environmental impacts, and closing local and regional loops. In August 2020, we were selected as contact point as a national hub for AT urban mobility. The main aim of this hub is to link existing national ecosystem with knowledge innovation community, AT urban mobility, and to boost further innovation, entrepreneurship, and education in the field of urban mobility. How do we do it? What, are, what exactly do we do? We map local and national ecosystems, also not only in Slovenia, but also beyond our borders in the, some countries of the Western Balkans. We map stakeholders and value chain actors through meetings, interviews, discussions, and, top, and desktop research work and networking. I would just like to point some of the activities which are already going to Slovenia. For example, our Ministry of Infrastructure have published several guidelines as well as calls in the field of sustainable mobility. And there is already existing platform on sustainable mobility connected with Slovenian cities under the umbrella of ministries. There are several good examples of cities managing sustainab sustainably their mobility issues. I will just name two examples, the capital of Ljubljana and the second largest city in Slovenia, Maribor. Both have their smart mobility platforms, environmental agendas for next years, including mobility in existing living labs. In the field of innovation and commercialization of innovative ID, I cannot miss to point out, out some of the strategic research and innovation partnership established in the frame of smart specialization, like mobility partnership, ACS plus, smart building and cities, smart solution for green future, and network for transition to circular economies. Also two associations recognized urban mobility as their main topics. These are Slovenian ITS Association and BIM Association of Slovenia. At last, at least, at last but not least, several faculties are covering topics of urban mobility in their portfolios, among which University of Maribor has already or will soon become a project partner of AT urban mobility community. Our risk hub activities in this year are quite ambitious. We have already finalized a business creation workshop with planned 20 participants, which turned out to be over 60, at the end covering students, researchers, and companies. We have organized a two-day online conference on 7th and 8th of December, and soon we, we will have a hackathon organized for middle of December. At the same time, several meetings and workshops are running with main stakeholders, like identifying challenges and opportunities in the cities, lectures for students, and dissemination of knowledge innovation community in Slovenia through different channels. We set quite an ambitious goals, and we hope that despite the current situation of COVID epidemic in Slovenia, we will create, create a substantial impact on urban mobility. I thank you for your attention and for any information. Please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you. Sorry, I was muted. And uh, sorry also for the technical problem uh, by, the, by the presentation of Radomir. Uh, but I think uh, we could see that uh, it's a very colorful team uh, with a uh, lot of uh, enthusiasm uh, to, to support uh, the urban mobility innovation in the own country. Uh, we, have, we have 12 minutes uh, for some questions. 
so uh, I would like to start. Uh, first question is, uh, how can interested stakeholders get connected uh, with the local communities? Uh, maybe I would like to, to ask uh, Akos and Radomir yep. uh, to answer it from their point of view. Uh, thank you, Ben. Uh, I think it was the first me to mention. Uh, of course, we provide several channels to get in touch uh, with us. Uh, basically, we have a brand uh, operated, which is a green brother, and uh, we operate the blog and social media connections uh, through this uh, uh, brand, uh, Green Brother. So, uh, so whenever we we communicate or get in touch with uh, uh, potential participants so so we can we can receive uh, innovation ideas or or cooperation uh, requirements uh, questions uh, through this we also operate uh, a single point of contact uh, which is uh, called it's, a, it's an email address uh, hub hungary at startupcampus.hu uh, and and also we can be found uh, uh, on the web as well uh, so th these are the main main channels. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we uh, frequently reach out to the major cities uh, in Hungary. So we we communicate with uh, the the major local players and and the chambers of industry uh, and municipalities in order to get in touch uh, with innovators. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Bence. So uh, we are. For any kind of the cooperation, we will be happy to receive any uh, requests from, from stakeholders to, to work uh, with uh, cities in Serbia. Uh, as I mentioned in the presentation, the city of Čačak is all, already serves as a, as a living lab. And uh, this month we are bringing uh, two more cities. Uh, one of them is the city of Belgrade to the, to the city club. Okay, So they will be also very happy to to interact and to work together with the uh, European stakeholders through the uh, urban mobility, EAT urban mobility. So please just send us an email with uh, some kind of the request and topics and we'll choose and propose to you and make connections with, uh, with our cities. Thank you very much. So the second question is, uh, who are the most important key players in the local activities uh, uh, in the different risk countries? Maybe uh, we could get some, some uh, answers from Sofia, Nikos, and uh, Premisla. All right, C can you hear me? Yes. Uh, so for us, the most important key players, we have two main areas, the public and the private. For the public, of course, the startups and the and the corporates, we need to involve them because typically they are the ones that do business. And for that, we are trying to involve associations, incubators, academia, where typically uh, are well connected and have big groups of these, uh, let's say, private entities we need to target. And then for the public, we have both the local municipalities and at the national level, the Portuguese government, in our case, uh, which we have been in contact with both. We also have a lot of um, uh, um, uh, foundations and other groups to support in this area in, in order to do mobility and sustainability in, in smart cities. And so we are trying to uh, get them in contact so we can leverage on, uh, let's say, fundraising opportunities, grants, and other support. And in the Portuguese case, this is, this is what we are doing. Thank you very much. Maybe Nikos, you are having a big brother uh, next to you. So uh, what is your situation regarding this? Well, I think that uh, the, uh, the most important uh, partners we need to work with are uh, definitely industry. Uh, and that goes for uh, startups as well as uh, bigger companies. I think it's important if one can uh, uh, bring in uh, a champion, a uh, big company, uh, whether it is from the mobility area or a domain or IT that would uh, drive um, uh, performance and uh, bring uh, things forward. Uh, but also definitely um, uh, employing the uh, administration, regional authorities, 
uh, the municipality is uh, key because it brings the uh, the field, the area where one can play with uh, the living labs uh, uh, solutions. Um, and well, definitely we need to address uh, the citizens as well because uh, after all, they will be the end user of uh, uh, urban mobility solutions. Thank you very much. So, Framislav, you are part of the uh, big uh, Polish research network. Uh, is, are your partners different or uh, uh, do you work with the uh, same partners and others? Yes, our partners are the same. This mostly are the cities and companies and startups. And also the citizens, we are trying to, to show that we are doing this job all mostly for them. For example, in Poznan, there is a citizen's budget. They get every year some money. They can vote for some ideas. And we are trying to bring the urban mobility ideas to this budget. So they can use the city budget to do something to, to them, to, to change their life every day. Um, an also, interesting idea. Yes, yes, this is interesting in the idea, and it's uh, running many years, and and, and uh, small communities are fighting for their ideas locally because uh, it's uh, one idea for whole city and small ideas for parts of the cities they can choose. Thank you very much, and uh, there is also the uh, uh, third question. Uh, are the risk hubs uh, connected to the innovation hubs? Uh, I think uh, you have already some experience. Maybe uh, Kamil and Alenka, could you uh, verify it? How do you work together? Yes. We starting. Please, maybe, Alenka, start. Maybe if I start, thank you. So yes, uh, if you talk about the knowledge innovation community innovation hub, so we as Slovenia, we are linked with the central innovation hub, which is uh, with the, uh, their um, center in Munich. So we already have connected talking and we are trying to align with uh, our activities. So to support our national stakeholders to be involved in the activities of the uh, central hub. Um, and then if we are talking uh, internally, so to the Slovenian uh, stakeholders, we also kind of have these national uh, hubs as uh, uh, centers of knowledge and innovation. So we are also involved with them uh, working together, like for example, in smart specialization uh, or also other AT uh, community hubs in other kits. So yes, definitely, this linking for us is very important. Thank you, Camille. Yes, to to continue with what Alenka was saying, for us it's very important to be connected with innovation hubs. In the case of Malta, is uh, innovation hub South because we can tap into inter, uh, exter, between like the European expertise of mobility and also be, between other kicks because what we really want to have is like to exchange best best practices and to bring them into Malta. So for us, it's a, a very fantastic opportunity to, to share knowledge and access knowledge as well. Thank you very much. So and we have I, just if I just three minutes met. remaining. And uh, I would like to, to ask all of you that uh, for a very short uh, uh, vision, that what is your vision for the uh, urban mobility activities in your country uh, in the next three years? But we, we have very... Uh, limited time, so uh, I would like to, to ask you maybe Nikos first. Thank you, Benz. Uh, so uh, the, the vision is basically to uh, have access to as many as uh, stakeholders as possible within the next uh, period to uh, engage everybody uh, and to find what's uh, of common interest and then build on this and uh, most importantly, find funds to develop such uh, activities so that we have tangible results. Thank you very much. Akos? Yeah, thanks. Uh, 
So we look for uh, facilitating the strength of the ecosystem, close the value chains uh, in the region, not just in Hungary, uh, and, and of course drive uh, innovations uh, to market quicker and with less risk. Okay, thank you very much. Camille is the next. So yes, in Malta, we really want to, to be like the facilitator and the connector of the mobility ecosystem. We want to increase the number of pilot projects and experiments when it comes to innovation and to improve the dialogue between like the local stakeholders and with international stakeholders as well. Thank you. Premislav? So as, as Nikos, we must enlarge our scale. We will be loud. We will increase uh, reach of our information of of projects and also we will try to, to focus on the active mobility, intermodal mobility and digital services for citizens. This is our focus. Thank you. And we have Sofia. Yes, uh, for BGI, our main we are working with other uh, four kicks and so for us the vision is clear, create the, the triangle of innovation, so we want to build a really strong community between academia, innovation and industry, so we are going to do activities in education, acceleration and open innovation. Thank you very much. Radomir, could you share with us your thoughts? Yeah, our focus would be will be actually to bring more cities in the, in the activity of urban mobility in the city of Belgrade. Our capital is going uh, to adopt the strategic strat, uh, plan with the action plan for the next 10 years on implementation of urban mobility in Belgrade. So we'll spread uh, such a document uh, around the, the Serbian cities and that will be our focus. Thank you very much. And finally, Alenka. I will be very short. It's in three words, uh, linking, facilitating and creating dialogue, something like uh, what Camilla said, because there are so many excellent practices already there. We need to connect them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, we, we see that uh, you are full of plans. We would be happy to cooperate in the next years and to help you to, uh, to make it happen. Thank you very much and our time is over. Uh, thank you for this session.